Hey Stephanie, it's Lee from Am I On. I thought I'd make you a quick video to answer your questions uh, to save some typing. And this will be something you can hang on to as well. So you asked about building faculty precepting schedules into the residency schedules so they know who's precepting them. Uh, there's not a very simple way to do that, but if I needed to do that, I would probably do this. I've got a sample residency schedule pulled up. Um, if you head to the various pages, there's the block schedule, the cube icon, the red uh, moon, which is the call schedule. I would probably use the shift schedule. I'm going to switch it to table view. And I would probably, I've seen a few groups do this. It depends how many faculty you have, but I would probably add uh, a service called one of the names of your providers. And then you can assign, based on the shift schedule, some residents to a provider on a certain day. That's probably the easiest way to get the uh, point across. That person is going to have a shift assignment for that person. Um, if they have a clinic, you can do that too. If you want to add a note to the call schedule, you can do that too. If somebody is on a certain call service, you could right click and post a note saying which provider they're with. But um, doing it in the shift schedule this way really lets you track it. You'll have a tally for those assignments. Um, it may make the schedule a little bit long. I'd probably chop up the subsets and have a subset number two, which might include your um, your precepting page, and you can actually rename it up at the top if you want, you know, that kind of thing. So you have one page with everything and precepting schedule. Uh, up to you, that's the schedule content window up here. Um, your next question, you asked about, uh, you've got your call schedule ready and you don't want to build it, um, you want Amion to build it, but you want to enter it. Uh, you can certainly enter it online the way you are. That's a lot of clicking. You've got to click submit every time. Um, you might consider doing it in the on-call program, which is a little bit more like Excel. You can just uh, click on the spot where an assignment belongs. I like to um, open up my info box, maybe make it like really uh, skinny and turn off some of the different options. Then you can click on a name and then it moves to the right automatically for you. That's one of the options here. So option move right after filling an empty cell. That puts it here, and now you can click name, 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 that kind of thing. And that's going to be a little bit quicker than doing it online and having to click submit every time with the online editing. Um, that should be faster. Um, vacation requests. Is there a way I can enter approved vacation requests in Amion using a date range? Um, sure. Here's how to do it. When you're in the on-call program and you're looking at someone's block schedule, click on their name along the left and click requests. And... Uh, by default, when you add a new request, uh, and I'm just going to make sure that my special requests thing is turned on. I've clicked view and special requests, so that's toggled on. Uh, I'm going to have my, oops, I let go of this. My special request begin on Sunday, 7 7. See this little green dot here? And the left and right arrows will let you decide when it happens. The up and down arrows will let you decide how long it runs. I'm going to make it a seven day vacation request, and I'm going to call it whatever I want to call it. Uh, once you're done with that, it's in here, it's in the system. Uh, if you hold your mouse over it, it says vacation. Now it's still just a request. Um, you were asking about re approving requests. Um, if this has been approved, you're good to go. You can right click on it and say convert request to, and you can convert it to anything but vacation is the most common. So you can remove the request. I like to rem re uh, remain, have the request remain there, not remove it. When I click apply here, this person is now on wards this block, but has vacation for a week. And that little green bar um, kind of helps let me spot very quickly who's on vacation. So I like to leave those requests in there. Um, that's probably the best way to do it. That also disables somebody from being available for clinic. Uh, you'll see that some of these folks are grayed out because they're on vacation. So that should help there as well. Um, when you're in the calendar view, only see residents who are scheduled in AM clinics. Uh, I might need more specific details on that one. Um, would you mind sending me uh, your password and maybe even a screenshot if you've got the PM schedule or the AMPM clinic schedule? I can take a peek at that for you. Um, schedules are automatically backed up. Each time you publish the schedule, they are updated uh, online and also on your computer. So if you ever needed to, you could open from backup folder. There's a bunch of backups that get created on the folder in your C drive called on call. And you can also pull a backup from what's out at the website. These are all the recently published versions of this schedule. And I can open an, an older one if I need to. 
Uh, that's pretty rare though. You'd only want to do that if you happen to overwrite your work or uh, something went missing or something went haywire. Uh, is there a way to designate that the first Wednesday of every month residents attend SCS Didactics in the AM versus me setting up this for the, for the entire year? Uh, yes, here's how I would probably do that. Um, I'd probably make it a clinic. Uh, that's one approach. So let's see, file general setup clinics, call that the SCS clinic. When I'm in the clinic schedule, I can click on somebody's name along the left, click the clinics button, and you said uh, first Wednesday of every month. Um, I can do Wednesday mornings, but that'll be all year. That'll be every Wednesday, depending on what rotation they're on. So you may not want to do it that way. I don't think there's a way to do it automatically. You can do it weekly. That's easy to do. Um, but if it's a monthly thing, I'd probably in that case make it a note on the call schedule. You can right click on the a call schedule in the date row at the top and add a meeting note. And you can call this uh, SCS didactics. Um, you can indicate what time it happens at. Um, you can indicate who it belongs to, who should work there, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think you can have it repeat automatically every month though. That's something you might have to do by hand. Uh, one of the things you can do after you add a note like this is uh, right click on that note and say add it to your list of quick notes and then if you've got one in uh, November and then it's you know December gets here you want to add it to the next month you can head to that Wednesday right click and one of your quick notes is going to be the SCS didactic so it's easy as simple as that to add it in for the next month um, I hope that helps I'm going to post this uh, online for you to take a look at and hope that it gets you going